Good morning and welcome to Breakfast in Barbados. We have a fantastic show for you this morning. And of course, we're at the beautiful Santosha in St. Andrew. So we're going to be talking all things Santosha this morning. I have with me Ianique Cullimore. She's a duty manager, so she's going to be telling us all about Santosha. Good morning, Ianique. Hello, good morning. But we're going to start with a difference this week because our mixologist, Damien Williams, he's going to be starting off with our first drink of the morning. Good morning, Damien. Hi, good morning. So you have um, something really special in store for us today. Well, the producer likes to put us on the spot from time to time, and he <laughs> certainly did <laughs> because um, <laughs> it's whatever came to my mind based on what ingredients I did have. But that's what makes you a mixologist and the rest of us just yes, try a thing. Yes, it does. <laughs> you understand? So yes. what, what did you come <clears throat> up with as it relates to ingredients this morning? Okay, what I have um, is jalapeno. It's not that hot. It's very mild, actually. It's more of a flavor. Okay. Um, carambola. Mm -hmm. Some people call it star fruit. It's a unique taste, you know, and it's uh, full of fiber and vitamin C, actually. And... Dimes, of course, I'm going to use apple juice and a little grape. The grape is, you know, very potent, so I'm just going to use a little of that. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. I mean, I'm going to just top up a little with cola tonic because, you know, that gives it the breakfast, the kick in the morning that you will be looking for. Okay, so this sounds like it's really going to be interesting and I'm kind of curious as to how that spicy jalapeno will work. No, nah, it's not. It's not that hot. It's okay. just a flavor mostly. Yeah. Well, definitely. you're you're the expert, so let's go. Yeah. So what I want to do is fill my glass, my shaker glass with um, not too much, but the carambola. Okay. Now I noticed and last time you did, um, you used a blender. There is no blender here, so you're obviously using another technique this yes, morning. Yes, I'm using arm power, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hence the shirt. <laughs> I don't! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hence the shirt, good. Oh Breakfast in Barbados. Mm. <laughs> Give me that special cake. <laughs> Unique, you seem to be enjoying this a little <laughs> too much this morning. <laughs> Can we get back to the job at hand, ladies? Okay, sure. <laughs> and of course, citrus. I'm going to use half of a lemon. Okay. And I'm just going to muddle this a little to get the juices out of both the jalapeno and the carambola. Now that's a bit strange because anytime people talk about any kind of pepper, they try to avoid the juices and getting them out and all yeah, those kinds of all things. peppers are not hot. Okay. They are very flavorful peppers. I'm going to use about three ounces of the Dimes grape juice. Okay. And Ian, he's always and eyeballing. He does a lot of eyeballing, so, you know, that's, that's what About two and a half of the apple, dimes apple. Okay. Half ounce simple syrup. This would balance very well with the, the citrus I use, and there is citrus in the carambola, so um, I think, yeah, about half ounce would be perfect in terms of balancing this cocktail. And a little Clayton's. This will definitely wake you up on mornings. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting that this is a morning drink. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me just get some ice to shake it. What's your name again? Yannick. Yannick. Mm -hmm. And I'll just ask Yannick to fill these glasses with some ice. Mm -hmm. But first, I have some very unique cherries here that I'm going to place at the bottom. Let's put some more. Some trade secrets will never ever be known. There you go. Secrets. All right. 
Okay, could you fill these with some ice for me? Sure. And do the ice. <laughs> yeah, you really want to trust me with this? Okay, top. what do I do? And just shake it. To just it back to and here. forth? Yeah. Or right, just, just, just one second, let me just... <laughs> All right. Go Not ahead. so go, early go ahead, in the morning. Carol. Okay. There you go. See, I've got skills. I've got skills. This is tiring. <laughs> Have you had a stop? I'll tell you. There you go. And I've never been in a gym. This is what I do. Uh, yeah, right. I did most of the work. You realize that? Yeah, didn't pretty you? much. Pretty much. Thank uh -huh. you. Those two little paltry shakes at the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now this is no ordinary breakfast drink. This looks like the kind of drink, say you had a honeymoon couple right here at Santosha and yes. they wanted something different and really special. Well, I think I would definitely love to have these at the pool with someone there. So the finishing touches, carambola and and that just lets you know basically what's in the drink. <laughs> yes, like yes, definitely. Mm. That looks good. What's it called? Yeah. Um, I haven't given it a name. You wow. tell me, I don't know. I have no idea. Let's taste yeah. it and see what yes. we come up with. Yes, I am very excited to taste this. There you Ooh. go. Thank you. Okay. I was just waiting for, it, for something spicy to hit me. It's not going to hit you. You're way right, you're you right. You win. Mm. But I can taste the sweet pepper though. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. No, Very kind of fresh and special. Special. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can definitely taste that, but not too. Mm -hmm. I can taste the carambola. Yes. But what mm -hmm. would you call something like this? I have no idea. Mm. The Santosha refresher. Mm. Yeah. In my yeah. opinion, it just needs a little more syrup. Mm -hmm. I okay. see I'm not into a lot yeah. of, yeah, I'm of sugar. Good. I'm good so with So this works yeah, for me. Sure. This yeah, that's good. works for okay. me. Okay, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Cheers to yes. beautiful Santosha here on the East Coast. Nice. We'll be back with more here. Breakfast in Barbados. This is the Santosha refresher. refresher. Yeah, right here. We'll yeah, be back with more. Perfect, perfect. Breakfast in Barbados. Unlock the mystery of the cola nut with Clayton's Cola Tonic. For over 130 years, Clayton's has been adding life to your cocktails. Whether mixed with juice, alcohol, or straight up over ice, just add some Clayton's to your life. to L and Veer with your options of Yago, fruits, and 0% fat yogurts made from real milk using real fruits. Distributed by Supreme Distributors. Welcome back to Breakfast in Barbados. And as promised, I have Ianique Cullimore and she is the duty manager for Santosha here in St. Andrew. Good morning again. Good morning. Well, 
I must tell you, yes. the first time I came here, I was totally, it was breathtaking. Okay. Really breathtaking. Yes. So tell me a little bit about Santosha. How long has it been open? Because people are learning about you for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good too. Um, we started in 2009. And officially, we started building in 2009 and officially opened in 2012, summer okay. 2012. We had, you know, a nice launching promotion. Mm -hmm. And from there, it's been a wonderful story. Wow. <laughs> so what was the, the intention behind opening? What was, what was the vision for Santosha? Because it's obviously not your normal hotel. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And we're actually we really go to extra lengths to clarify that we are not a hotel we are self-catering apartments and um, i believe the vision was to have something on the east coast mm. that is in between east coast ruggedness and a little luxury mm. yes as well as um, something also very centered around the earth natural life and so forth yes hence all the wood and so on yeah wow. and the response over the last few years that you've been open what's that been like? it's been wonderful i think the barbadian public has really supported it um a lot of the people who usually holiday on Catawash and Bathsheba and so forth in beach houses and so on i think we're getting a lot of that market mm -hmm as well as just people who want to do something different but maybe you know don't want to fly out so when they come here it's a lot different so from the yes oh okay. we oh yes our local market is is big we mm -hmm. a lot of our um visitor appeal is to locals yes okay. we get a lot of locals staying here particularly during april to december which is the off season so mm -hmm. the rates are a little bit better at that time yeah Let's yeah. talk about um, how many people you're able, how many rooms you have and people that you can accommodate. We have 10 apartments in total and uh, at most we can accommodate about 24, yeah, 24 okay. comfortably. Yes, we have the one bedroom apartment which is kind of like our family room and that has a sofa bed separate from the bedroom mm -hmm. and so that that's usually where we cater to our families and so forth because the children can use the sofa bed and so on yes yeah, so generally i would say 24 persons comfortably because at two per time. yes mm -hmm. at one time and we do get a lot of those types of bookings families who just want to have a getaway a retreat so they put so they just yes, book out the entire Santosha. yes book out the entire thing we move up the blinds so mm -hmm. you know it feels like one big house and yeah they come down with all their toys you know with the children we had one family here one time, they had paddle, paddle tennis or something going over there on the lawn. And then in the pool, they had some big pool toys. And I was amazed. Of course, the work was something else <laughs> afterwards. But, you know, just seeing them having so much fun was, was, you know, satisfying enough. Yes. So taking care of a property like this. Yes. You are the duty manager, but I'm sure you have more help. Oh, yes, we do. We okay. have a wonderful team, I must say. Um, Selma, Dorius, Claudine, and Roddy. Our team and Joanne, actually. Joanne is our manager, mm -hmm. and I think in total that's about six of us mm -hmm. that are here, and we make it work. Wow. Yes. So, how does it work when you have a full house? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's taxing, but I think what really helps is that we all love what we do. We genuinely love working here. I think, of course, the view has a lot to do with it, the general environment, you know, it's breezy, there's always a wind, it's actually called, the location is actually called Windy Hill, so there's always a wind, um, so that helps. But apart from that, I think we, we really do try for open communication, so things like that really make even a full house much easier, yes. If you had to describe Santosha and there were no photos, how would you describe Santosha? Oh my yeah, yeah. gosh, Carol! <laughs> there, put you on the spot. Uh, Come yes, on, let's go. Have. How would you describe it? Just a few words to describe uh, it, to, to paint that kind of picture in someone's head and make uh, it somewhere they want to go. Oh my gosh, I'd say something green, uh, ruggedly beautiful, uh, sustainable. 
Right. Yes, those are the words I'd use to describe it, yeah. Let's talk about like special events that you may have here. What kind of special, have you ever had like a wedding? Oh yes, we've had quite a few weddings. Mm -hmm. um, recently, we've had one that uh, totally change it up a little bit. Usually when we have weddings, I hope that we get to take a little walk around. So I'll mm. show you the the tea terrace, or some people call it the gazebo, but it's mm -hmm. more like a tea terrace. Mm -hmm. um, usually the ceremony starts there, and then we have the, the reception in the clubhouse just beyond us here. But this wedding, they wanted to get the sea, the ocean as a backdrop. And it's right now it's so blue and beautiful out there, I can understand why. So they had the, the ceremony on the lawn way over there by the two shed. Nobody would have thought of okay. that. Yes. And then they walked over for the reception in the clubhouse. Mm -hmm. And it turned out to be beautiful. Wow. Yes. So we get a lot of weddings. And I think, you know, Bajans, again, want to get away from And it's not just Bajans. Because actually, we've had Trinidadians getting married here. People from the U.S. getting married here. So, um... It's, I think it's just the difference, you mm -hmm. know, that, that appeals to people. The East Coast also. The East Coast has its own magic, you know, its own that beauty. So mm -hmm. that attracts people and, you know, makes them want to add that to their wedding or whatever special event. I mean, for me, it's really, really special. As I said, it was breathtaking the first time I walked onto property. Yes. And even now, as we're filming, there's, you know, some people here, and you would see from couples to yes. families, and it seems to, as you said, cater to yes. a lot of people. You yes. see little, little children running around and having a really, really good time. So the okay. atmosphere seems to be really conducive good. to relaxing as good. well, having a good time, good. relaxing as well. Good. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want people to feel, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, in case um, some people want to have something to eat, like we'll be having breakfast a little later, as you say, yes. self-catering, but yeah. are you able to point people to where to go yes. if, if they need to go out and get a meal or something? Yes, we are. We're, I think the owners and um, myself for sure, we're, and, and the rest of our staff, it just so happens that the majority of us come from surrounding areas, area. St. Andrew yeah. and St. Joseph. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, we kind of adopt the community, what the different businesses in the community. So we usually refer a lot of our guests to Sand Dunes, for example, mm -hmm. and they I'm always raving about their grill fish. It's really, really good. So um, we usually refer guests there. Um, there's this other place called Issues, and all of these are local industries, you mm -hmm. know, what some people might call cottage industries. So we're really big on supporting them. So the lack of the restaurant here mm -hmm. brings an opportunity for the people in the community, for the, for the different business owners in the village and so on. Okay. Yeah, so we usually refer them. Well, we're going to be back with more right here on Breakfast in Barbados mm -hmm. with Ianique, and we're talking all things Santosha this morning. Yes. Unlock the mystery of the cola nut with Clayton's Cola Tonic. For over 130 years, Clayton's has been adding life to your cocktails. Whether mixed with juice, alcohol, or straight up over ice, just add some Clayton's to your life. Welcome back to Breakfast in Barbados, and we're talking all things Santosha right here in St. Andrew. And the newest addition to the Santosha family is the spa. And with me this morning, I have Rory Griffith, and she is a trained masseuse, and she obviously is a part of the spa. Good morning, Rory. Good morning. Okay, tell us all about the spa. What's the name of the spa? Uh, very simple, Santosha Spa. Makes sense. Yes. It really does. Okay, tell me about you first. Okay, well, I am one of the three therapists that mm -hmm. work at the spa. Uh, I am trained 
firstly in reflexology and mm -hmm. aromatherapy. Okay. We are all trained in massage and other holistic okay. therapies. Reflexology, is this the one where you look for the different points, points pressure on, points and all those kinds of yes, things? Yes, on the feet and the hands. Okay. What are some of the benefits of massage? Uh, massage, well, some of the more obvious ones, relaxation, mm -hmm. uh, stress relief. It also can improve circulation, bring up your mood, heighten your mood. Your mood, so yes. it affects it can affect how you your, feel. It affects how you feel about yourself okay. and uh, situations around you. It can give you a better outlook. So I know there are different types of massages from, yes. from the point of view of some are for more relaxing, others are therapeutic, maybe you had mm -hmm. a little injury or something yes. and like sports massage. Yes. Are you concentrating more on the relaxing and therapeutic or will you go into some of that like people with sore muscles who probably not from injury but from mm. probably playing hard? Well uh, the relaxation massage doesn't really do much other than relax and inc improve circulation. The therapeutic delves closer into the muscles, mm -hmm. rela releasing the tension in your muscles and making you feel better for longer. So that's the ones that you'll be concentrating, relaxing and, and therapeutic? Relaxing, therapeutic and some more deep tissue to really get in there and get Is that the get one that makes you? Oh. Well, actually, some people can actually fall asleep in a deep tissue massage, believe mm. it or not. Okay. It's actually very, it can actually be very relaxing. Well, let's talk about some of the actual services that you'll be um, offering yes. at Santosha Spa. Okay, so we are offering aromatherapy, which is a relaxation massage. But what we do is we add essential oils. Mm -hmm. And this is like the oil that will actually go on your skin. This or? is the oil that will go on your skin. Mm -hmm. So we talk to each person before. They have their massage and based on their feedback, what they're feeling at the time, what they're going through in their life, we can tailor the essential oil blend to them. Okay. So that it is for them, it helps them with with any problems, either physical or mental, that they're going so through. So if I came time. in and I told you, no, no physical problems, but I'm stressed out, I really feel like I need to relax, what kind of oils would you possibly put together for me? Uh, for stress and need of relaxation, uh, it would be a citrus blend mm -hmm. with some lavender added in for relaxation. I like anything citrus, yes. so you're talking right down my road. I have no problem with that. So the aromatherapy is one that it's, you offer. And yes. What else do you offer? And also reflexology, mm -hmm. which is based on the belief that by treating the foot or mm -hmm. the hands, you can treat the whole body. Okay. That the whole body, all the organs are actually reflected in your hands or mm -hmm. your feet. Mm -hmm. And a reflexologist can actually feel, just by touching your feet, what is going on in your body. So if you have an upset stomach, we can feel it sometimes. Hmm. If you're really stressed and your shoulders are tense, we can feel it. So it gives us, we can, a we can actually help release that tension mm -hmm. and we, it can give us an idea of what you're going through and we would be able to give you advice on what you can do to help get your body back into balance. Okay, so those are the two major ones or are there the other packages? That yes, you know? those are the two major ones, that and the regular therapeutic massage. So what are the hours for this spa? Uh, we start our first appointment at 10 o'clock mm -hmm. and our last one would be at 5. Okay, and do they contact the spa as a, a separate entity? Do you have a number? Or? Uh, no, you uh, make all your bookings through the hotel mm -hmm. and we are open to locals as well as visitors. Too. And your last appointment you take at? At 5 o'clock. Okay, so do you cater to like, a friend of mine had a, a part of her whole getting ready for her wedding mm -hmm. group, the entire bridal party, not the males, the females. Yes, Obviously. we yeah. are. We are thinking of doing retreats starting okay. from maybe around October mm -hmm. because we're relatively new here. We only started in in July. Okay. So we're thinking of we are going to be doing some retreats, mm -hmm. which would be a Friday to a Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it would so be so that would be inclusive of staying at the hotel and getting the massage as well. Yes. Okay. What's it? price range for that? Uh, we haven't settled a price range for okay, that. Okay, so they can yet. just call Santosha yes. and by then everything will be sorted. Yes. Well, thank you very much for joining us this morning on Breakfast in Barbados, Rory. Thank you for having me. And we're going to be back and of course, as always, Chef Tosh, he's going to have something fantastic for us to sample a little later. We'll be back. Breakfast in Barbados.
L and Ver. L and Ver. L and Ver. L and Ver. How do you L and Ver? Take a moment to L and Ver with your options of Yago, fruits, and 0% fat yogurts made from real milk using real fruits. Distributed by Supreme Distributors. Make it great, make it fun, switch to now. spices have been flavoring the pots of Barbadians for over 25 years. Available island-wide at all leading supermarkets, MIS spices come in a wide variety of flavors like black pepper, Cajun spice, bacon bits, crushed chili flakes, coriander powder, cumin powder, curry powder, basil leaves, celery salt and blackened spice. Celebrity chefs and mixologists use MIS spices to enhance the flavor of their creations. MIS products making it special for you for you for you for you Breakfast in Barbados Well, we've had an absolutely wonderful morning here at Santosha in St. Andrews. Thank you so much, You're very Yannick. welcome. But before we go, yes. let's talk about the special rates that you have available. Yes. Uh, we have a special package for CARICOM Nationals mm -hmm. and I'm um, so happy that it is CARICOM Barbadians, Trini, Trin, Begonians, Jamaicans, everybody, everybody mm -hmm. right? However, this special rate is only available when you give us a call. So you need to call us. You're not going to find it online. Our website, by the way, is www.santoshabarbados.com. Mm -hmm. However, you do need to give us a call if you want to take advantage of the CARICOM special. And I think there's a three-night minimum booking on that. So you have to decide in your mind that you're coming up on the East Coast to spend the weekend. Okay. Uh, yes. As well as we have a special promotion for our spa opening. We have just added some spa treatment rooms. And for that, we are doing, I think, a special two-night promotion. So for those of us who have jobs, we have to get back to work Monday morning. You can take advantage of that. And come up bring, for the weekend. Yes, yeah. come up for the weekend, Friday to um, Sunday. Bring your girlfriends, whatever, and do a spa weekend. Yes. Thank you so much, Ian. And of course, you can find you on Facebook as yes, well. Yes, we numbers are on are Facebook. There. Yes, all our contact details. Okay, well, now we're getting ready for the tasting. Yes. Okay, okay, so Chef Tosh, what did you prepare for us today? Well, today this is sardine again, but this is a breakfast sardine stew. It's done in the ronzoni tomato marinara sauce. Mm -hmm. And it's done on, we have two separate bagels today from Purity. Mm -hmm. So you have your, again, your raisin cinnamon, and you have the plain bagel. But it was then done in aloe vera. I toasted it in aloe vera butter on the, oh. on the stove. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a pickle with the salad. And then I stole some carambola from Damien earlier. Uh -huh. So we also have some pickled carambola. And underneath <laughs> is um, aloe vera cooking cream that. And I also stole from him some jalapeno peppers. Oh. So this is an infused jalapeno cream sauce at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And on the top, I have a Swiss lime chive aioli. Sounds really good. Thank you, chef. You ready, Miss Ayani? Yes, I am sure. That is going to taste very good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. So you're going mm. to the different I am not over. putting it on. It is good. It is really mm -hmm. good. Mm. Chef Tosh has made me eat sardine <laughs> twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> after, I'm, I'm serious, mm. after what? Almost 15 years? 15 years. <laughs> Excellent, Chef Tosh. 
Thank mm. you so much. And obviously, Ianik is enjoying herself. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for breakfast in Barbados. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us. Until next time, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Morning's here.